In this video, we're going to be exploring the opportunities in decentralized finance. Specifically, we're going to be doing yield farming on the Binance Smart Chain. But first, let's get up to speed with DeFi. Decentralized finance or DeFi is built around financial products on the blockchain. Things like borrowing and lending against crypto assets, for example. So you can supply cryptocurrency like Ethereum to a smart contract and then borrow stable coins like US dollar in return. There's some really useful things like tax planning where you can get some fiat currency like US dollars or GBP without incurring capital gains tax. There's also decentralized exchanges which we're going to be using today. It needs to be used to swap one token for another token. These work by a user providing liquidity to a smart contract. So a user might put in 50% Bitcoin and 50% Ethereum. Then if someone wants to swap Bitcoin for Ethereum, they can add a little bit more Bitcoin and withdraw a little bit of Ethereum from that vault. And then the price fluctuates because of the difference in the levels of the vault. If people want to swap more Bitcoin for Ethereum, then the price of Bitcoin goes up, for example. In practice, price follows centralized exchanging prices very closely because arbitrage bots take advantage of any price inefficiencies. So user one provides liquidity and user two takes liquidity. Today, we're going to be using both sides of this. We're going to be exchanging tokens and taking liquidity from one pool, and then we're going to be providing liquidity and getting liquidity provided tokens from a second pool. So when you provide liquidity to one of these exchanges, you get LP tokens, and then you can use them to withdraw funds from the vault at any time. While your funds are locked in the vault, you also earn a percentage of fees that users are paying to exchange their tokens. You can also stake these liquidity provider on third party platforms. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using something called Auto Farm, which offers a very large reward for staking LP tokens in their native token. The reason they do this is because they want to incentivize the liquidity in a native token. So to summarize what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be using a decentralized exchange to swap some tokens. We're going to be providing liquidity to that same decentralized exchange to earn liquidity provider tokens. Then we're going to be sending these liquidity provider tokens to a third party platform to stake them to earn their native token. It sounds complex and confusing, but let's go through each of these steps individually and you'll start to see how these pieces come together to form a yield farming strategy. Right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to download Metamask. Metamask.io is the official web address. Let's download this. Install Metamask. I'm using the Brave browser. I think it's also available on Chrome and Firefox. Let's add that to Brave, add extension. I have seen some Google search ads show up for fake versions of this, so be really careful that you're downloading the official version. Let's create a wallet here. We're going to be creating a wallet to store our cryptocurrency and move it around and transfer it. Let's choose a random password. So that's all set up now. I've written down my seed phrase on a bit of paper, so that's secure and it's not on my computer. And you can see we've got a nice little web wallet. So Metamask is set up to use the Ethereum blockchain as default. We don't want to switch this over to the Binance Smart Chain. Let's find the details for that. Here we go, this is the main net details we want. Let's copy this. Now we're gonna to wanna to go to add-ons, MetaMask. And then up top here, we're gonna select networks and then go to, what we're we gonna to go to? Custom RPC. Uh, call it Binance Smart Chain. RPC URL is that URL, chain ID 56. Currency symbol BNB, which is the native token for Binance. We'll be using this later. And then it has a custom block explorer as well, which is bscscan.com. Let's save that. We've got Binance Smart Chain now. Okay, so as default, we've got an account set up here, and this is our public key. So we can now go into Binance and withdraw tokens straight to that. If you've not used Binance before, it's a centralized exchange. You can buy crypto with bank deposit, credit card and whatnot. You can also trade crypto on there. And the token that we want is this BNB. So we're going to withdraw some of this. We're going to withdraw that from the address in Metamask. 
You can see by clicking this, copy to clipboard 0x6055, that's our public key address, and we're going to paste that in here. We're using the Binance Smart Chain, so we're going to select Binance Smart Chain Bet20. And the amount, I'm going to withdraw 0.2, which is about just over $20. That should be enough for what we're doing today. That brings me to an important point. The whole DeFi ecosystem is built on top of Ethereum, but we're going to be using Binance Smart Chain today. The reason for that is that the Ethereum network is quite congested, and that means transaction costs are quite high. It could cost $20 per transaction on Ethereum. And because we're only using $20 account here to demonstrate it, I'm going to want to use the Binance Smart Chain, partly because there's more opportunity there right now, in my opinion, and partly because the transaction costs are a fraction of a dollar. Let's withdraw that. Let's send a code to my email, and I need two-factor authentication code as well. Okay, after a couple of minutes, we should see them funds arrive in our wallet. And you can see here, it's actually saying 0.198F, but that's actually BNB. Okay, now let's go to DeFiStation.io. So DeFiStation is a list of some of the DeFi projects on Binance Smart Chain. Today we're going to be using PancakeSwap and AutoFarm. So PancakeSwap is very similar to Uniswap on Ethereum, and we're going to be using this to trade some of our tokens to start with. Let's go to the exchange first. And we're going to want to swap BNB for some auto. I'm going to want to swap just less than half my BNB, so 0.08 to auto. See so here we got 0.0012. Unlock the wallet. Meter mask. Confirm. We're connected. And we can now swap them tokens. It's going to ask us to confirm in MetaMask again. Transaction submitted. See, this is currently pending. There we go. The tokens are in our account. Let's have a go to the other project on this list, Auto Farm. Let's load this up. And these, this list here is a list of vaults where we can place funds in order to return on our funds. And the best performing one is this WBNB Auto um, LP. Now LP means liquidity provider. So what we're going to do is provide liquidity to PancakeSwap, get liquidity provider tokens, and then give them to Auto Farm to earn a return on our investment. So first let's wrap some the rest of our BNB. What we're going to do is turn that into WBNB, which is just a, a wrapper basically. So let's wrap them BNB tokens into WBNB. Confirm. Now we've got roughly $10 of wrapped BNB and $10 of auto. We're going to provide that for liquidity. So let's go to liquidity here and then add liquidity. We're going to add the maximum amount of wrapped BNB and then the maximum amount of auto which we purchased. We need to just wait while they're improving the spend of them funds on our account. Then we're going to go to supply, confirm. And close. So we've provided these two tokens to PancakeSwap and they've given us liquidity provided tokens in return. Let's take them liquidity provided tokens and give them to AutoFarm to earn this juicy 1.5% daily return. Let's connect the wallet first, MetaMask. Connect, confirm on MetaMask. You can see we've got a balance of base, roughly $21 worth of WBNB auto uh, liquidity provider tokens. Let's provide all of these. Confirm the transaction, approve in. We 
confirmed in MetaMask. And after 15 to 20 seconds, we should see the transaction confirmed. There it is. So there we see the transaction is confirmed. We've got a total of deposits of $21. And if we open this up, we can see the deposit here of 0 0.00991, $21 in this vault. If we want to withdraw that, we can just click max, withdraw, confirm the transactions and pull that back out again. For now though, we're gonna leave this for a little while. We've got $21 in there. The TVL on this auto farm is growing really rapidly every couple of days, it's more or less doubling. And an auto token is currently worth $8,000. Let's come back tomorrow and see what that's looking like. Day two of your farm on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, as you can see, we've got 30 cents here, which is our yield from providing them liquidity to provider tokens. We can harvest this at any time and it will go back to our MetaMask wallet. The only issue is that because our funds are locked in the auto and the BNB token, there's been a drop in the valuation of the auto token. You can see it's come down to 6.5K here, and that's caused a loss of our initial capital. We've lost about 10% of our outlay, and that brings you on to a really important point. This isn't like putting your money in the bank, this is a very speculative investment. Where your funds are locked into both the BNB and the auto token, if there's a drop in the valuation of them tokens, then you can lose your initial capital outlay. For that reason, it's really important to research the projects that you're doing. You can see here the TVL is still going up, so I'm fairly confident in this project, and I'm going to leave the funds in there over the next few weeks and months. And over a long enough period of time, as long as the TVL, the total value locked in the contract, keeps increasing and the usage of the platform keeps increasing, I'd expect to see an appreciation in the valuation of the auto token, and also the BNB token as well, which will cause an increase in the valuation of them funds. That's Yield Farming on the Binance Smart Chain. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in learning more about what I do, check out my blog and subscribe to the channel for updates. Thank you for watching.